bites on my hands. Should have filmed us carrying this one in. It's so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> so much easier. The other one was the Mac Daddy G. Yeah, that's hard. It was the Baba G. <laughs> so wait, 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 I'm not ready. Push, push it for me. Push it back. I was just gonna say. Push it back. I can't. It's stuck. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Two, three. Oh, I Where are you Totally straight. Okay, good. And then once they dry out, we can sand them, seal them, oil them, whatever. Looking good. All right, are we going to bed now? I think I should put this side up too. Yeah. <laughs> We high five a lot. Every time that we accomplish something, we high five. Sometimes I'll take it to the next level, but. Guess who has really good teamwork skills? We do? Volleyball teams. And guess what volleyball teams do all the time? High five. Yeah. That's very true. <laughs> so, teamwork. Teamwork. While drinking coffee. <laughs> you made hand ground coffee with. Rock cow powder. 
and Canadian maple syrup and almond milk. Thanks. Really good. Yummy, yummy. As you guys can see, we have the loft going up. It's looking really good. I'm excited. I'm just trying to build it with overkill amount of engineering because I just want to make sure it's strong enough. I mean, it's strong enough. It's these posts you see right here are eight inch diameter posts or more. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, like eight inch diameter posts and they're cemented into the ground, not into the platform. So it's like a second structure. Yeah. So the weight of the platform that you're standing on is not taking this weight. This is its own structure. Yeah, which I think it will be fine because it's just a little sliver of the yurt, not even half of the yurt size. And it'll just be us uh, sleeping up there in clothes and stuff, so. And then we have like three quarter inch, like rebar holding it together. I might even put um, a couple brackets just for backup. And um, the wood that goes horizontally across the top is a seven inch diameter piece mm -hmm. that I've already been hanging all over and it doesn't move that much at all. And I think it's solid. The weight's it's gonna be dispersed good. over the course of the whole thing. Yeah, and we're not putting like a wood burning stove up there. We're not putting. It's just it. us. Just us, our bed, and like we're gonna put mostly all, we're gonna put all of our clothes up there. <clears throat> Maybe a little nightstand, but that's about it. Today's plan is just to get more of the what, cross bracing in. So I'm gonna take a hacksaw and hacksaw off this um, threaded rebar and then. We're gonna nut it, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna put the horizontal posts on the other rooted vertical posts. Mm -hmm. So it's like a little corral. And then I'm gonna start putting all the um, yeah. cross beams. So the beams that go across, I'm gonna put them 16 inches apart, so it's very solid. Should they be logs from the forest, or should they be two by fours? I don't know, because we were talking about this last night, and I think that we should just, when that time comes, we'll compare it to the two and see what is going to be easier. And That time is now. No, it's not. This we're is, not. This is now. No, it's not. We're not yeah. ready to put those up there yet. Well, do you want to do store-bought two by fours, or do you want to save those and I think it'd look cool underneath to do the wood, but when that time comes, too, we'll kind of see. That time is now. Stop it. Jeez. Cross logs on top, 16 inches apart, plywood on top of that, and then we'll put the laminate floor up there too so it looks nice and to walk on for us and it won't sting. Yeah. That's it, let's go. Bada boom. And then a ladder or stairs? Stairs, I don't want a ladder. A ladder looks cool, but I don't want to like have to come up and down the ladder and if we expand our family, who knows, I don't know. Um, I think it'd be easier to go up and down stairs. Not like your epic grandiose stairs, but like something to where we don't have to do a ladder. It'd be easier to carry things too than doing a ladder. So I say no to the latter. Oh man. <laughs> I look lovely. Good. Okay, so I have to talk fast. Because mosquitoes, I mean... They are vicious. I got like six bites on my hands. That looks nasty as fuck all over. And I don't do well with mosquito bites. They make me welt really bad. And yeah, I don't know if I'm allergic to them. I don't even know if that's a thing, but they make me welt and they hurt. So I had to move fast, but anyway, so Jake's working on the loft and then when he needs me, I'll come and help him. Um, but he's doing things right now that doesn't require two people. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing odd jobs around the yurt, cleaning up outside. It's a beautiful day and I'm collecting a bunch of dry kindling for the winter for starting fires easier. So I'm just going around the forest and just filling this box behind me um, with as much as I can get for today. I'm also going around and just trimming up some stuff because it's the forest and it rains a lot so there's just a lot of overgrowth. Um, and we're gonna be getting our first set of workers, hopefully towards the end of the month. So I wanna make it look clean and um, nice around here. So Jake and I are both really excited to finally get some workers up here. We know them, um, hopefully it comes through because just the two of us is really hard. It's just gonna be really nice to get some help because it's just the two of us is quite difficult and you know, I'm not as strong as Jake is so it'd be nice to, to really tackle a lot of these projects. Um, with more people so there's a lot to be done 
Um, I have to, we're bringing the boat up here, so I have to clear that. So anyway, just doing a lot of odd jobs today, so uh, let's get going. The mosquitoes sense that I'm sitting down, so I gotta get moving. <laughs> All of this is gold. There's so much everywhere, just dried out. This also helps clean up our forest. So, it's really nice. All this stuff is up. Don't miss the next episode of Jake and Nicole Off-Grid.